Today's daily dose of math is about basic algebra skills, specifically adding. By that I mean, what do I do when my variable, my unknown, has something added to it when I'm trying to do algebra? Let's do some examples on the desktop. On this example on the top left, we have x plus 3 equals 10. My unknown is x, and the goal of algebra is I want it to be alone. I want the x alone on one side of the equals. But I have a 3 being added to it. So what do I do? I do the opposite of adding 3. I subtract a 3. But if I'm going to subtract a 3 from the left side, the rule of algebra is I also have to subtract the 3 from the right side. Whatever you do on the left side also has to be done on the right side. These two 3s cancel. So my x is alone on the left side of the equal sign. And 10 minus 3 is 7, so I'm able to write x equals 7. That's my answer. In the second example, it's very similar, but we have our x on the right side of the equals. The procedure is the same. I want my x alone. It has a 2 being added to it, so I subtract the 2. But I have to subtract the 2 from both sides. These twos cancel. My x is alone, and it's equal to 5 minus 2, which is 3. I have the statement 3 equals x. That might seem backwards, but we're allowed to write it backwards if we want. So 3 equals x means the same thing as x equals 3, and I have my answer. Looking at this example on the bottom right, again, it's quite similar, but this time I have a negative number involved. What I do is still the same. My x is on the left side, it, I want it to be alone. It has a 4 being added to it, so I'm going to subtract a 4 from both sides. These 4s cancel. My x is alone, and negative 8 minus 4 is equal to negative 12. I have my answer. Finally, on the top right, we see the same problem that we started with, and that's so I can show you a shortcut. When we decide to subtract a 3 from both sides of this equation, we can show it only on the right side if we want. We write our x alone, and we subtract a 3 from the other side. x equals 10 minus 3, which means x equals 7, I have the same answer. A student can use this shortcut if they want, but they really are doing the same thing. They really are subtracting a 3 from both sides of the equation. So I guess we can do this original problem now. I want my x to be alone. It has an 8 being added to it. So I'll subtract an 8 from both sides. These cancel. My x is alone, and it's equal to 11 minus 8, which is 3. I have my answer. This is the basic algebra skill as it applies to addition. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.